everybody, welcome to another episode of Adventures with Kramer. And so today, there's a lot of different steps you need to be able to do before trying to actually fly your new drone. And so this is what I did to be able to kind of set up for my DJI Mavic Air 2. A bunch of different registration kind of red tape type stuff. And so especially this is for those that are wanting to try and upload videos onto YouTube and do any type of like making money or anything like that along the way. So a couple of different things I had to try and get done. You're going to have to be going to the FAA website. They have a lot of really nice tools that are going to be kind of showcasing here throughout the video. Throughout One of them is their user identification tool. They have a bunch of different safety tips, a whole bunch of steps to be able to go through to be able to register your drone. And then they have a app that they connected up with another company that really helps you to double check to see if you can actually find those areas. So let's go ahead and get started. So one of the first things you need to do is you need to go to the FAA website and on there they have the user identification tool. Now the best that I can understand is that YouTube does count as a like the part 107 which we're, what we're going to be getting to here in a second but it's because whether or not you make any money directly or indirectly that counts as a business on here so you need to have this license it's no longer considered just for fun if you're getting any of that type of funding and so if you're monetizing on youtube do anything like that or getting any extra like side jobs as a result of your different videos that are posting on there you have to get the 107 license plus i think there's even more you have to start doing the questions are nice and easy to understand but they are um <laughs> how they look on there is they're worded a little bit odd i feel so they asked this question up above here and then the response for that one is right here and so are you a government agency no are you a citizen of the united states yes and then, so then it kind of keeps going down it's not the fact that i answered no to this question but i just i don't know i, I think that's odd how they have that set up um instead of just putting the no up in here with this box and the yes up here with this box but it's all good so you keep going down trying to be able to ask whether or not it's for a business commercial yes i'm doing that on there um am i doing package delivery or agricultural spraying no i'm not doing that um am i at least 16 years old yes i am and so i need to use the part 107 so it helps to let you know if it's more than 55 pounds, there's a whole other thing you got to do, but mine is nowhere near even approaching that close. From what I understand, though, the Mavic Mini, you don't actually have to register because it is light enough. Um, and But yeah, I don't know. I got to look at that in a little bit more detail. They have a bunch of different safety tips on the FAA, a lot of very common sense stuff. Um, first off, you obviously have to register your drone. You definitely have to keep it below 400 feet. Um, I mean, obviously, if you start going too far away, you can't even see the thing. I've flown some different RC airplanes for a while in the past, and if it gets too far away, you can't see the thing at all. Um, has to be line of sight, be aware of the space restrictions that are around you. So if you live near an airport, you're really not going to be able to fly this thing at all. Um, you're going to have to definitely drive it a long ways away to be able to try and get out of that area. Respect people's privacy. Don't be a creep. Obviously, I mean, that just makes sense. Um, and then don't fly any other aircrafts, like never fly over groups of people, which makes sense. I mean, you, you got to be safe on this kind of stuff. Um, I know all different like high school sporting events, they don't even allow you to have drones even next to the stadium or anything like that to be able to try and like film stuff so you, you got to be careful on any of those kinds of things um and stay out of the way of any type of like emergency people they already got enough stuff going on they don't need to have some drone flying around annoying them or bugging them or causing something else and as with anything don't be like doing drugs or alcohol um and especially while like trying to fly a drone i mean that's just going to be a Recipe for disaster. So 
a lot of all this comes down to registering a drone for the business for part 107 try and help work it through step by step along the way and again pulling a lot of this information all from the faa.gov the they're kind of getting started section so their little registration area all comes from what they call the faa drone zone <laughs> and that's their kind of little logo over there so the first thing is that you kind of pick between whether or not you're flying as a part 107 or as a public like um or the like recreation for fun and that's where we help to find out from the other identification tool so i know that i needed to be able to register here so i click there i need to go through and create an account obviously you got to be at least 13 years of age or older um so we'll go through help put in like email password and stuff like that and then i'm in between the 0.55 to 55 pound um kind of weight limit in there so i see why a lot of people are trying to fly a bunch of like the really small little micro drones now because then they get away with not having to do some of the different registering going on but those are some super tiny little drones once i've done that they send me that kind of email confirmation it comes very quick there's not really a delay that you have to worry about just refresh your email um, and help check that inbox sometimes it goes to spam folder mine didn't mine went straight into the regular inbox and then once i go on to that actual email there's just a quick little button where you have to verify the account and so it's just a quick button to be able to click on and then you got when you log back in though they do give you a nice like multi-page um kind of system user notice that was not there the first time that I was on and just try and help keep in mind um, on any kind of things that are going on there and obviously with any of the different privacy notices between anything on any phone gaming console anything like that I mean it's you have to hit I agree otherwise you, you shouldn't have bought this stuff so now once you've done that you go through and you set up your whole entire profile first name last name all that stuff and you type it like alternate emails phone numbers to get a hold of yourself and the only thing that kind of like seemed a little bit was like oh what is this so dba or doing business as um and so i'm putting in my youtube handle right on there the adventures with kramer on the dba area um and kind of working off from there Everything else just seems pretty easy. Now, once you've done that, then it's gonna pull up into your dashboard and you wanna be able to try and manage your um, unmanned aerial kind of drone going on to be able to try and add it into your inventory. So currently you have none, you can set add up. I think it's up to like 50 different drones or something like that you can add in. That is a lot of drones to be able to have. Once you've clicked on manage, you then go ahead and you'll see like a shopping cart because eventually you'll have to pay for your registration, which is, I mean, it's only $5 for three years, super cheap. And so you got to add that unmanned aerial and then you go through, help put in like whatever nicknames, model, whatever you purchased it type, um, and then add in the serial number. So that serial number should be found on the box that you purchased and it should be found on the drone itself on my particular model once you remove the battery it's actually right down in there it is a qr code but when i tried to scan it with my phone my phone was not able to read or scan it or even when i tried to pull up a qr code reading app it was still not able to read it or understand it so just got to click the add on there to be able to add it in obviously i wasn't going to put my serial number of mine on there um, now you're into the shopping cart um i was able to get that all added in try and help review it start to kind of double checking stuff i have my nickname the manufacturer the model the serial number it was and then myself that I added in it cost them five bucks to be able to do this and go ahead and hit check out Nice and easy. 
So then a couple different pieces. There's four main steps along the way to be able to help try and double check on the registration. And so you have to be able to try and double check of like, I've read and understand you're gonna fly it according to the FAA requirements. There's a lot of steps in here that they really try and double check multiple times to make sure that you understand what's going on and what those requirements are. There are a ton of them for the part 107. So then once you got that, we go ahead. Then you got to start getting ready for all your different payment information there. Um, it's a bummer that they don't have any type of like PayPal or anything else like that, but you just got to be able to get in your full credit card information. Um, and then once you have that, you should be good to go. It doesn't show any type of restriction for different credit card types. So I'm assuming you can do anything from like Visa, MasterCard, Discover, American Express, all the major, like the four major credit card companies that are out there and any other ones that are out there. So. Once you got all the information added in, go ahead and hit. Now it gives you a chance to be able to try and review and double check everything. Make sure your billing address is all correct. Make sure your payment information is all correct inside there. Serial number. Again, one more double check. And again, another check to say, hey, you understand that, you know what? You can be fined or imprisoned if you are like falsifying information. So. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't try and make up fake stuff so that people can't try and track you kind of thing. It's you got to be honest about this stuff. Once you've done that, go ahead and hit the pay. Now we're at the final kind of confirmation and hey, here we go. Registration certificates have been sent and it's get sent very, very quick. Um, just got to hop into your email to be able to help try and get that um, certification. So the stuff over to the right, that, that's, um, that shows up in the email, but it's not something that it's like, uh, that's not your actual card. I didn't want to post uh, the screenshot of my card or anything like that. But I was super happy though with what the name ended up being on mine. It, it actually seems like it almost like turns into a little bit of a phrase. I think that's kind of funny though, but I'm going to use a permanent marker to be able to try and help mark on mine. Um, just because you have to have that marked on there for the different letters and what it's registered for. And then you always have to have either a digital copy or um, of whatever your registration is. So I have a PDF on my phone. I took a screenshot of it and have it saved to my favorites. But then I'm going to print it and then I'm also going to go down to um, Office Depot, they did some laminating for me a couple of weeks ago. And so they did a really nice job on it and did some like nice thick laminated material because I don't have a laminator. And that way I have that nice little card for a copy to be able to help hold on to that and keep that, which I think will work out really good. And this just to help kind of give you an idea. This is just the first 22 limitations not including like there's like two more pages worth of limitations that are a part of like the part 107. Um, a lot of the stuff, it makes sense. Basically, I mean, you can't go around airports and um, try and help out with like weather visibility. I mean, you just don't do stupid stuff. Don't go out in the middle of a storm. Don't go out where you can't sit and see it. Don't sit and go out where other different people are at. And you got to try flying only during daytime. Can't sit and fly at night. Um, and there's things that if you want to sit and try and do stuff, because you have to be line of sight, even though this thing can go six miles, you can't see it from six miles away. Um, and just being able to see it from the controller doesn't count. And so you have to, um, even if it's recreational, you still, you have to be able to see it line of sight flying. And so it can't be super far away. And so you have to try and get all these different um, except. And so there, there's all those other different things, but it kind of sums all the way down to don't be creepy. A whole bunch of people before this ruined it for everybody else. We're trying to do a whole bunch of just stupid stuff, which at the same time, it actually has helped out a little bit. I mean, I say that they ruined it for other people, but at the same time, I mean, 
hopefully this isn't discouraging anybody from trying to be able to fly drones. I know I was kind of like a little overwhelmed at first whenever I saw all this information. Um, at the same time, just don't be stupid. Um, and then stay away from the three P's, the people, property, and planes. I was trying to see if I could come up with like a fourth or fifth one, but that that's all I had for now. <laughs> They're really pushing this app, the B4 You Fly app. Um, it seems like a very nice app. I know a lot of the same stuff is already in the DJI flying app to begin with. I did download this and I will still be sitting and using it, checking it out. These are some screenshots from the app store that helped to show, hey, here's the different spots. It had fairly good reviews, four stars out of five. The only things that were kind of negative is some person said that they were like near an airport, but it made it seem like it was an it was an old airport and there wasn't any restrictions. But then once they got their drone and they tried to fly, then it was showing all these restrictions and but like the app didn't actually show all that stuff. And I don't know. I mean, you can see a lot of different filters and things like that that you can try and help out with, but it does seem good and they are pushing it pretty hard to try and hey use this one. A lot of other different things that I'm trying to do in the future is I want to try getting some waivers for being able to fly at night. I want to be able to do a fly in a vehicle, like not actually necessarily in a car, but to be able to go in like an ATV or an off-road vehicle up in the hills. It's hard to tell from the wording on it that that might be okay because I'm far enough away from enough people. But then at the same time, I can't tell if not just because it's, I don't know. So I want to try and get as many different ones as I can. Um, there just seem to be some extra registrations and like even uh, other stuff I got to work on. I'm hoping I don't have to ever do the part 107 accident reports. That's another thing on the one of the websites. And then I want to try and do a full setup of the Mavic Air 2, do some first flights together. And then I want to try and get the little pilot wings from the heavyweights. It's one of my favorite movies from Disney back in like the 90s and get the little like pin wing to put on my jacket i think that'd be pretty fun to be able to have one for me and my dad and then um i think it'd be also nice to be able to get fa certified for a drone pilot knowledge test and try and do some studying and some different materials on that and at the same time just have some fun because this paperwork did kind of like pop my bubble a little bit on the excitement and i wanted to be able to just like turn on the drone and go outside and fly around the house and take some cool photos and stuff of the um, like Starlink internet and things like that. But it's like, nope, you got to register. You got to register. You got to do all these things. And I don't know. Um, I wish there was a, a simpler way to be able to try and do it, but this is what it is for now. Thanks everybody for watching. Um, if you want to see anything in particular, definitely let me know. Otherwise, peace everybody.